and welcome. We are Cats and Camo here today with our CZ P09. Duty. This is a 9mm double stack, holds 19 rounds wow. standard from the factory and weighs 30 ounces. The barrel length of this gun comes in at 4.53 inches, bringing the total length to a whopping 8.1 inches. The width of the gun is 1.46, so fairly standard, and the height comes in to 5.79 inches. Now that we've talked about the basic specs of the gun, Dan over here is going to show us how to properly disassemble and reassemble this gun. We're going to take the CZP09 Duty apart. And it's a little bit complicated. It's still simple, but it's designed to be... It's not going to come apart by accident. So, we're going to pick it up. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to cock the hammer because it makes it easier to manipulate the slide. We're going to press check this and make sure there is no round in the chamber. Once we've satisfied ourselves that the gun is safe, we're going to push the magazine release. Set that 19 round magazine aside. But not out of reach. We're going to need that in a moment. Now, when you look at this gun, it's going to be hard to see. There's a mark about a quarter of an inch in on the slide and near the edge on the frame. We have to line those up, so we're going to push the slide back slightly to line up the two marks. And then our takedown lever on the back side is here. You see that on a number of guns, but this one's a little bit different in that it is designed to not release. You can't just push it. What they recommend is that you take the corner of the magazine and use it. It's even a divot. It's a dimple right in the middle of it to help guide you so it'll stay there and you can push it in order to push this through. So we're going to pull this back just slightly so it lines up. We're going to put this on the back and push it forwards. We're going to push that on the back, come on, and push it forwards. You hear it click, moves away from the frame, and then it comes off. That's designed to keep this all in one piece. Here's your big polymer frame, set it aside, recoil guide rod, recoil spring, four and a half inch barrel, and there's your CZ P09 taken apart there and almost all lined up for the OCD crowd. And then we're going to put it back together, barrel first, nice and straight. This fits in and then it's pretty simple to just click it back into place. Now CZ, it's a very short slide and it's completely in the rails, different than most. There's not just little tabs sticking up. The rail system runs on the inside. So you start it clear at the end and feed it through this way. Designed to keep the gun really low in your hand and very accurate to shoot. We're gonna put that in. Push the slide back just like we did before so the two notches line up and then this should pop into place line up, and snaps into place. Slap the action a couple times to make sure it's what you want. Everything's functioning correctly. Safety works. Unloaded. And drop the hammer. The CZP09. It looks a little bit more complicated with that extra step with the magazine to push that out, but the trade-off is you have an incredibly safe gun. All right, everyone. We are on the range today with our CZP09. Five rounds for Allie at seven yards in the torso. Then a magazine change, and then she's going to put five rounds in the torso at 12 yards. If she can do this without spinning in circles and stepping around. You're making me nervous. The CZ09 duty. Loaded, not chambered. Right. Oh, that's under my head. 
got hit in the head with the empty casing. All right, it's my turn with the CZ P09 Duty. This is a large revolver. It was designed for law enforcement and military personnel. I'm gonna do two five-round magazines, which is unfortunate. I really wanted to load this out to 19 just because it seems more fun. But we're gonna do five rounds. We'll do three in the head, double tap low, mag change, high low, and then pivot and put three more in the head to match the nice spot that Allie gave me, starting me off. Okay, the CZ P09. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and if you enjoyed this video, point those crosshairs at the like button down below, and make sure to stay tuned for part 2, coming later this week. See you then.